D. StreetStatus.tv Checking in with the one and only T Dub O. What's poppin', my nigga? Yeah, what it is, my nigga? You know what it is. T Dub O. Murder My Gang, Brimlow Entertainment, Cream Team, Paper Boys. You know what I'm saying? 15 for life. Rest in peace, Al Bud. Rest in peace, PIG. Free Whip. You know what I'm saying? Free Acer. Welcome home, Tojo. It is what it is. First thing first, my nigga, just address any motherfucking thing you feel like you want to get off your chest. You know what I'm saying? Man, these internet thugs. That shit is like hilarious to me. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody who can sit all day. See, what I don't understand is y'all pretend to be something y'all not and have no type of proof whatsoever. Because if you were really doing what you're saying you're doing, you wouldn't have 24 7 to sit at home placing comments and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's 2011 dead, that shit. You been going crazy in the motherfucking battles, my nigga. What made you want to jump off in that shit? Be messy. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, we, some people don't know, but most people in St. Louis do know. Like, we was doing underground music, you know what I'm saying? From here to Memphis, uh, to Atlanta, KC, you know what I'm saying? We done performed in maybe 20 out of the 50 states in the United States, you know what I'm saying? We was doing music. Be Magic hopped into it. We was basically there for support for him. He reached out to me and told me, he was like, is his money involved, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's promotion, like we should do it, you know what I'm saying? At first I was kind of skeptical because I got a bad temper, you know what I'm saying? And you have to overlook certain words people use in battles that can be taken as disrespect on the street. You know what I'm saying? You got to go into it with the attitude of, uh, this is just competition. So I, I really had to prepare myself mentally before I got involved. In it. Yeah, shit, you definitely a fan favorite, my nigga. I'm glad you niggas even you know what I'm saying, decide to come through and fuck with the status on some real shit, you know what I'm saying, like, uh, you just was supposed to have a battle with, uh, with a kid named Animal from Pittsburgh, what happened to that shit, my nigga? Man, I don't know, what I, what I think happened was, he said yes too quick, and didn't do his research, when he did his research, he found out he didn't really want no problems, and instead of calling, like a man saying, I don't really want to battle, he decided to to not show up, which made him look even more of a bitch than he already is. You know what I'm saying? But it's small things to a giant. He really just saved himself, which ain't going nowhere, no way. Cause who gonna invest in a half paralyzed, mediocre rapper with no paper? Nobody. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> So goddamn me, uh, talk talk about previous battles, my nigga, that you done had with niggas, man, in that ring, bro. Uh, man, I, I had some nice battles, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, wait, but a lot of people don't know is I not only had three battles on, on the street status, you know what I'm saying? And they already ranking me up 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 on the level where some of the greats so, are, which I appreciate that. But I'm a humble nigga, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm sick, but. I'm not trying to, I don't want nobody to give me nothing, I want to earn it, you know what I'm saying, and uh, the first battle was super new. As long as the earth's spinning on its axis, I'm the motherfucking baddest, so I don't fear not one motherfucker on this fucking planet. I it was, to me, I didn't come as hard as I thought I could, you know, I was on more of some relax, I'm a relax and fuck you up and just flame your ass type shit. With Super New, he a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? After the battle, the niggas uh, shook, shook hands, you know what I'm saying? Drunk or whatever, he still fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? The T-Money battle. Uh, and we ain't seen him since, you know what I'm saying? I guess he kind of salty after what happened, but like I like like when you call me and be like, it's an event, I don't never say no names. I'm like, whoever you throw at me, whoever want to get in that ring, whoever get in front of that gun, I'm firing. You know what I'm saying? He decided to put himself in that, in that mm -hmm. position. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to take no type of pity on you because you a younger cat. But you know what I'm saying? He got potential. So I don't really see why he dropped off and quit doing the shit. You know, I just had to do what I had to do to go where I'm trying to go. As far as the Trey Pamela battle, I fucked him up. Bringing all these pussies with you, do it look like I give a damn? I just lost my big homie and all you niggas looking suspicious, fam. We pop up in minivans, hop out, semis blam. Only thing left moving in the house is the ceiling fan. Point blank period. I don't really care what nobody got to say about the third round and all that bullshit. He can dead that. I fucked him up. Lyrically, dude cannot fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Which Trey is a real nigga too, I fuck with him. But if you go back and watch that battle and actually pay attention, and if you got some type of intelligence or common sense, you already know what it is. Shit, I know you got them. You usually take anybody I throw at you, goddamn me. But uh, 
shoot some niggas, shoot some niggas that you might want to jump in that ring with and shit. Maybe we can make that shit happen, my nigga. Man, to be honest, I want that. That it, it's three niggas who who at the top in St. Louis right now. Two I already know ain't gonna take the battle. But if I can get one of them. I will appreciate that, you know what I'm saying? Cause I, I want that spot, you know what I'm saying? If I can't get that spot, I'm gonna magic get that spot. So either niggas need to retire and leave the shit alone completely, or they need to deal with the problems that they have here in their city. I wouldn't mind getting in the ring and spawn with you. I wouldn't mind fucking up Big Wheel. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I'm not a fan of battle rap, so it's like all the Sue Surfs and all them type of niggas, I don't really know who they is, I don't really listen to it. But here in this city, we want that spot. I want that spot. You know what I'm saying? So whoever in that spot, I'm coming at their heads. And if they don't want to take an offer for competition, then I'm going to make them take it eventually. So e either way it go, they're going to have to deal with me. Man, any closing remarks, nigga? We can get out of here, man. Mobstar Maniac coming soon. That's the mixtape I'm working on right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Cream Team, Paper Boys, me and my little brother Kizzle. Kizzle, Brian, Latwan, James, Sada. The mixtape coming soon. Uh, the Mob Mobstar compilation that's coming soon. Uh, we got an artist in, in uh, Memphis, man. Go by the name of Pete Winsky. He got an album coming out soon. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of things we're working on. Y'all just keep y'all here to the street, man. The status is street cocksucker. And fuck animal, by the way, nigga. Right on, my nigga. We out of here. Yeah.